Back here at Bullseye Holsters, uh, here at the Tulsa R Show in November. Got to get a holster for the Walter PPQ. Coming right up. So we're gonna go with the uh, let's go with that red Mandalorian. Perfect. Yeah. So what uh, what's the first step in the uh, process first, here? Yep. First step is just actually heating it up, let it sit in there a couple of minutes, um, and then going after that, we've actually pressed it, press it right around the gun itself, and uh, go from there, cool it down, see where it needs to be tweaked and altered to make sure it's right. You know, if it didn't, you know. Over there. Right. One step at a time to see what needs to be adjusted on it. Gotcha. As far as the angle uh, at which the firearm sits in that holster, is that? Yeah, I usually shoot for about a five degree can on it, is what I shoot for. Okay. It can vary just a little bit per gun with the holster and everything, but usually it's right there at five degrees. Smells like plastic burning. <laughs> I guess it kind of is in a way, though. Isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> so I guess for tension, once you once you get the initial mold, I guess you kind of got to make it a little thinner or a little smaller. Yeah, you can uh, back the retention off a little bit if you need to, or even buff it up a little bit. Like right here, I'm just blowing out the ejector right here, just to make sure when you're drawing it out, the front part of that slide isn't rubbing on it. Obviously, this is going to be uh, be edited once it's done. But about how long, on average, does it take? Uh, depending on the gun itself. I mean, Glocks are really easy to do. Oh, uh, they'll be six to eight minutes. Oh, uh, H and Ks have a lot of hard edges. So what you're saying is the less the less edge and contour and all yeah. the, the quicker. Yeah. So I mean, it's probably t ten minute average. So it takes you like thirty seconds for a high point. Is that what you're saying? Oh, not quite. Yeah, the high points are kind of one of the pains. They're so big and bulky. Are they really? Yeah. They're big and bulky enough. you got to watch them. I don't know that a full-size high point would fit into that kind of X. Yeah. So, I've done a couple. i got some bigger blanks that yeah. I usually use for lights and lasers. So I've used. For, I've done a couple. did a couple the other week, and I'm like, it's a high point. No. Yeah. You spend more on your holster than you do on your pistol. That's, yeah. uh, that's bad. Yeah. Pretty much. What are you doing there? Um, I'll roll this side out just a touch to make sure, like the ejector there doesn't catch the slide doesn't catch okay. on the way down like in there. A, just like a smoother reholster. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it helps that just that funnel just a little bit makes everything just a little e easier. While you're doing that, I mean, uh, how many, about how many designs do y'all have? I know it's there's a ton. Uh, between designs and colors, I usually have 125 to 150 oh, wow. on hand for outside the waistband. A few less for inside the waistband. Uh, not quite as many options. But well, why uh, would that need to be flashy, right? Exactly. That's that's what most people say. <laughs> Me, like I've got just a plain olive green uh, American flag. I like it. You know, it's not real flashy, but hey, you still ended up with a little something. Yeah, a little something. something. Yeah. But no, yeah, no reason to get real flashy on inside. I agree with you. So definitely something for everybody. A lot of superhero, a lot of flags, a lot of military. Maybe we had to change clips here because uh, definitely know your belt size when you come to do one of these.
us that's the one thing that matters. That's a pretty interesting concept, the way you've got that kind of grommeted together to start with. And it sure makes assembly and all a lot easier, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, it takes out a few of those steps where you can do it at the show itself. All the screws are the same size and all. Now, why has it got the three holes in it? Is that so you can move or something? Um, I also have a speed clip option. Oh, okay. <laughs> This one may be a touch high on the retention. Sometimes I go, I'll go a little bit high on the retention for the customer because it's easier to back it off a little bit than it is to actually bump it up a little well, bit. Well, it'll wear in a little bit, and then two. This is a full size heavy, heavy pistol anyway, so you know, exactly. good, good retention is going to be. It's going to be nice. Yeah, I like that. We won't you the gun. Sweet. So that's it. Yep, that's it. All right. Awesome. So there we go. Doesn't get much better than that. Uh, awesome holster. Thanks a lot, man. Really, really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, check them out. BullseyeHolsters.com. Later.